Welcome to another edition of the Budacom Telecom Files. This time I would like to talk to you about the uh, opposition's plan for uh, broadband uh, in Australia. Um, it has been uh, quite a while since we've heard anything um, more uh, positive about uh, broadband and telecommunications in general from the uh, coalition opposition in, uh, in Australia. Uh, since they lost the elections, they have been rather negative about uh, the developments that uh, have been um, uh, introduced so far regarding the National Broadband Network and the National Broadband Corporation, who going to, who's going to roll out this fiber to the home network uh, in, in Australia. Um, while on one side they still say, okay, what they've released so far is not uh, the full story and that more will be presented towards uh, the election. At the same time, we have to only, we can only use the sort of information that's available now. And that basically would indicate, let's go back to the dark ages, a situation when uh, the opposition was in power. And during that period, since 1996-97, when the previous government, under the leadership of the opposition, actually introduced the new telecommunications legislation that led to the dominant behaviour of Telstra, that led to a decline in competition, that saw that 95% uh, of the profits went to Telstra and 5% of the profits had to be shared by the other thousand companies in, 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 uh, in Australia. We saw a sharp decline in customer service, an enormous increase in complaints uh, to uh, the telecommunications industry ombudsman. So obviously, uh, you know, that sort of regime was not uh, really very uh, con conducive for uh, the telecommunications uh, market and, and new innovation and competition. Good elements in the opposition's plan are focused on regional. Uh, it's very important uh, that they indicated that uh, the reason why we started this was regional. Uh, the opposition at that point in time, uh, when they were in government, they had a, a plan called OPEL, and that uh, was basically a, a billion dollar uh, plan to bring broadband to regional Australia. Very good plan. Unfortunately, that was canned in the, in the overall national broadband network. But since that time, we've seen rather little uh, um, visionary uh, communication from the government in relation to its regional broadband activities. Um, yes, it does have plans in uh, rolling out um, fibre in Tasmania. It has backbones in the Northern Territory and other parts of, of, of Australia. Very important development. But let's be honest, you know, if uh, a farmer in Tasmania gets connected, what does that do for a farmer in Queensland? So you do need an overall plan, and that has been missing from, uh, from uh, the Labour government. Uh, the opposition is also saying, you know, let's use the existing technologies so we don't have to go to fibre. I, I violently disagree, of course, with that, because around the world everybody is now really pointing in the direction of fibre and, and wireless broadband as the future technologies and not copper-based and coax-based uh, cable television networks. But, you know, I could use that sort of policy from uh, the opposition to actually say, OK, use the existing technologies in a better way and come up with a good plan and good strategies how we actually can use these existing technologies to bridge the path between the network where we are now and the fiber to the home network, which is going to, to, to take five to ten years to, de to develop. So there's certainly room for the existing technologies to be used in, uh, in a national broadband plan. And these are some of the elements that I believe that uh, the opposition could work out further and uh, utilize in their plans. If they would do things like that, I would definitely uh, support them. Uh, I hope that you enjoyed this uh, edition of the Buttercom Files. Obviously, there's more information on our website. Uh, items like this are also covered in our free blogs. Thank you very much for listening and talk to you next time.